Hello everyone, it is your amazing Prodigy Queen again, and in this Prodigy video, I'll be showing you how to get the amazing stinging like a bee, floating like a butterfly, and a lotus pet in Prodigy 2021. <laughs> Now, before making this amazing video, don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any massive Prodigy videos. Okay, guys, so now is the best time to spend your time in Prodigy. This Prodigy is seriously broken at this time. So if you go, um, so um, this um, friend that I, I visited this friend's house before, remember it was empty? Now look at this person's house. Whoa, it is so cool and amazing. As you can see, it is like um. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's so cool. Oh, look, the person appeared. Hi. We can, I guess we can say hi. And, but anyway, see, the um, product is seriously broken. So I guess, um, hold on. Let's, um, let's say, go to house. Let's ask to go to house, and then we can go find Avalotus. I'm gonna... Oh, my house is unlocked. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now since we're since we're home, let's go ahead and find an Eva Lotus. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the description about this pet, and I show you what it means by stinging like a bee and stuff like that. So let, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. Here's the Eva Lotus description. So guys, um, it is. It looks like this grumpy looking, um, um, yellow, white flowered yellow, not flower in yellow with a small gem in the middle and there's like this leaf that's yellow tail and it looks kind of grumpy and like a snake except it's like a, it's, it's like a lizard snake with no legs now prodigy really needs to change the description because it says due to their hybrid nature avalotuses look like flowers stinging like things like bees and store like blow brown so do you know that um sports guy muhammad ali yes he has this like um he written this poem kind of like um floating like a butterfly stinging like a bee and something else but um over here um this does not look like a flower before it used to have brown on it and it used to have um pink on it and it has to have like a flame it looks so colorful and nice before now this is half power half heart so it's completely garbage it's okay i guess evolved at level 28 into the amazing pro Draxes. now this is a storm element pet too so let's go ahead and get straight into the tutorial okay guys so we're back at home now so what you want to do is you want to go click on the world map and go over to Firefly Forest. Now the same strain, since the Evolotus is a storm element pet, why in the world would you want to be going to Firefly Forest? Okay, so the reason is because we're going to find the Evolotus paired up with a pet over here. So let's go ahead and head down over here. If you have like the, um, if you have like the wizard secret cloaker thing battle there, you can just go, go to the side and pass it. Okay guys, so now what we need to do is we need to battle this pet. Let's go ahead and battle it together since it's just one quick little battle and we need to spend um, we need to spend at least some time between each other, catch up on all the exciting, juicy, prodigy stuff. Okay, so as you saw, um, with that person, um, that, that person friend has gotten the amazing member box, which I have, um, I really want, to, I really want those member boxes. I've been trying really hard to get that glitch by, like, refreshing the page really hard, but for some reason, I think Prodigy, um, has stopped the glitch or, like, has stopped it from working, or that, or that person has hacked, I don't know, I don't think that person is a hacker, though. Anyways, the Skelly is his fourth hurricane. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, my squeaky little sorrel is telling me she wants to play. I, I want to tell her sorry. You cannot play right now. I'm spending time with my prodigy fans. I can, I can hang out with you after I'm done. Or you can talk to them, but I'm also going to join in. Sorry, sorrel. Sorrel gets mad and jumps on top of me and eats me for dinner. Okay, now that's kind of weird. And because we eat sorrel's eggs for dinner. The wizards eat sorrel's eggs, but humans eat chicken eggs so um so we eat sorrel eggs, but the sorrel wants to eat me for dinner so i want to teach her a lesson not to be so bratty so what i do is um i put her all, I, I i take her to the chicken factory and show her how chickens are slaughtered and she grows up on my face and, and then happily ever after okay anyways guys so you want to skip this pet i'm assuming you already know how to skip it but if you don't you want to go go to these patch of flowers where this person just stole my spot and then what you want to do is you want to go along the edges then you want to go to this bump here 
this little bump, then you can go to the flower, a little bit above the flower, though, like, right there. It's not purple, it's pink, I realized in my um, other video, I said it was purple, but I meant pink, sorry. Now what you want to do is you can battle one of these pets. If you battle this, it'll be worthless since there's no path that leads up there. I suppose you could click up there, but no, not, nothing will happen. Um, except that we want to battle one of these pets because we can just take the shortcut there. I recommend battling this one, but I'm going to go ahead and take this because we can chill in the corner over here. And wait, um, I have a perfect idea for you. If you're with a friend and we're and you're playing hide and seek, um, what you what you want to do is you want to go into um, you want to battle a monster ahead of time when the person's counting and go that battle battle that pet really fast. Then go chill over in the corner. So when the so when the um so when the seeker sees you, he'll have to battle the pet and then he'll be able to catch you because you'll stand. You'll, it looks like to them you're standing on top of the pet, but it, um you just battle the pet. I'll show you what I mean. Anyways, so then let's go ahead and use Supernova Hot Snow version. So solve this. Done. So have anything? Um, if you have anything um in interesting, you better let me know. We can we can enjoy time together. Okay, so recently there's been a lot of glitches, as I was saying earlier, and I really want more to happen. So I don't want to try refreshing the page after this battle because it'll just like waste a little bit of time. And um. Hmm, I think I'm planning to name my Emershed Dino. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a dragon, but I'm naming it Dino. Or I can call it Dino. Dino is a better name because it sounds like beans and I like I love beans even though they make um even though they make your farts really smelly. <laughs> but they're just so delicious. You cook them in nice curry and they're so good. Mwah. Delicioso. Anyways guys, so I'm planning, planning to name this guy Dino. I know, right? He's adorable. Yeah. Now, he looks really menacing, so how do you think he's adorable? Well, a long time ago, Embersheds used to be these tiny, cute rat things called Bernudes. And then, um, in the history of evolution, the Bernudes started to realize that, um, that the, um, what do you call it? What? Eat lizards, yeah. Started started to realize that the um that their predators um were um eating them faster um if they burned from their um giant steam holes. Anyway, since we're about done with the battle, so as you can see, I'm chilling back over here. But if a person just comes and walks in and haven't ha hasn't battled any of these three pets, they will see that there's a pet right here, and they'll see still me right standing right here. For example, Jack Snapdragon, he just appeared there. I don't know how that happened. Anyways, I'm gonna chill in the corner here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get up from chilling. Okay, guys, enough of chilling and stuff. What we want to do now is head up, um, head up to this fork path. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a fork path. Which path do we take? So, guys, to to remember, you want to take the path with the weird healing stone thing. It's not a healing stone. I've tried telling many people, but this thing is st they still think it's a healing stone. It just glows and unglows. It's a mystery and prodigy. Anyways, you want to go over to it, and then you can and you can go to the path nearest to it. So basically, the path with the weird healing stone. Okay, guys. So now what you want to do is you want to go. And you see another, you see another fork here with the saplet or some other pet in the middle. Saplets are now adorable since they changed. But anyways, you want to go towards the top path, aka right path. It's kind of, um, it's like north, um, it's, it's kind of like up and right. So I guess you could say up because it's mostly up too. But anyway, let's go up here. Oh, we can also search for Bigfoot dogs in the meantime. Let's go ahead and duck down into this corner and hide. Okay, we cannot hide. Let's get back to the topic. Okay, guys. And so now what you want to do is you want to find a truck in this area. Now, but since we cannot find one right now, we'll go over and refresh the page. And I'll be right back from refreshing. Okay, guys. So here I am um, logging in. So I'm um, just going to press next home, more worlds, and animalia. Here we are. Now we need to find the truckle. As you can see, we got two palm prickles instead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of two pets here right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and refresh the page again. And I'm going to keep refreshing until I find a truckle. Then we can both check it to see if there's an Evil Lotus inside. Let's go. Okay, guys. As you can see over here, I've got a truckle with an Ivory Truckle and an Evil Lotus. Oh yeah, guys. So I, I could I could make like a how how to get an Ivory Truckle and an Evil Lotus in 2020, but I'd rather not because it it didn't change. But guys, as you can see, this is um I just re re refreshed once. I got 
um, I, as soon as I said, I'll be right back, I refreshed the page, logged back in, and voila, I found one small truckle. And guess what? There is an, a lotus and an ivory truckle paired up. Woo! It's so cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and use hot snow. I really recommend you capture this pet. It's really good. It's, um, and I was saying it was trash earlier. I'm sorry, but, um, a few of you must like it at least. So, according to me, it's not useful because it, it's not, it's not powerful. Um, it's not powerful, nor is it have enough hearts. So it's kind of garbage, basically. As we just knocked out half of its hearts. So, the Evolotus's Ev roto is... Stinging like a bee, looking like a flower, yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything medium, everything has, everything in the middle, or I will not cap. Okay, so let's go ahead and now use, uh, I had to use my epic attack, so I'm going to use Supernova. Challenger was the most expensive epic, fact. I hope Charger puts epic back in Prodigy so I can, um, so I can maybe give out some epics. Just an idea because if I, if I ask Prodigy, can you put out a few epics so I can sell them? They'll obviously say no, just for some person. Oh, look, um, I don't think this is complete garbage. Look, the truckle's got um, worn out. And guys, look, this guy, it's so creepy how he attacks. Like, there's like zombie flares out of his eyes. So, if you are a very squeamish and um, scared person, I recommend you do not get this pet. But if you like love snakes and venom and scary things, then you must love this pet. Let's go ahead and defeat off the Evolotus. That was so cool. So that that, that without with that out that this would have been a good Harry Potter um, math mascot of the Slytherin. Oh look, a 32 battle stars. That would have been useful if I had a mystical on my team, to be honest. But anyways, I don't care. I'll I'll level her up somehow. I could also catch it. I'm more into le leveling up and catching because it's kind of like um feel happy when I do it with my own hands instead of having someone do it for me. Okay, guys, so now let's go ahead and go back. Hope hopefully we can um swerve back without any monsters if there's one there. And no, I guess we'll have to just head back the normal way. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and head over back to my house and chill there for a bit. Oh look, we've got another person chilling in our house. It's our friend. Who? So guys, now what we need to do is we need to have some chillaxing time and eat some dindins. I'm just kidding. We'll do a quick little bonus. So guys, my quick little bonus will be this um this this thing. Um, let, let's see if it's transparent. I've been wanting to test test this out for a really long time. Is this transparent or not? As you can see, it does not work in its background, so it's not transparent. And you guys are wondering, wait, that's all Prodigy Queen had to say when she said a bonus. That's literally all. Is she crazy? And no. Sorry, no, 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 that's not what I have to say. I'm going to tell you some quick things. So, you know that Prodigy's nest chair, right? So if you want to put in as many beds as possible without taking up too much space, you can put one of these handy-dandy nest chair things in. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Um, uh, I wonder if this nest chair will fit. Okay, that's looking good so far. Not, not looking good so far. Okay, um... Gonna put this here. Okay, now I'm trying really hard to put this in somewhere. Okay, so. <sighs> Come on, just fit already. Okay, I hate this and I don't want you. At your bad chair. It, um, guys, one of the most freaking, um, one of the most, like, f um, creepy freaking things in Prodigy is. Dun, 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 the nest chair. You know, the most creepiest, um, most creepiest thing that I say it's really bad is because um it's like there's literally eggs inside it so why 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 would anyone ever want to actually sit in it if there's eggs what if it cracks it'll get the beautiful beautiful wizard shirt all dirty which are very rare and exclusive because wizards are being hunted down by ugly humans okay no offense we're we're wizards so we don't so we don't count as ugly humans we count as precious wizards okay Ones who do not play Prodigy are talented masters. The ones who do not, who just sit staring at a wall all day are the grubby humans. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this back over here. And um, that was pretty cool and all. I was really thinking we could find some transparent objects, but turns out that was a total flop. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any awesome product videos. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Blurbs rule.